Hello everybody and welcome to another commentary video. This is number four. Hello. This is this is amazing. This is from last weekend in Minneapolis, Minnesota, US Bank Stadium. Uh I really wanted to do a reaction to this video, a commentary for this video, because it did happen last weekend. So I'm glad that I'm out here doing it right now. It was very hard to find a lot of clips for these, um, for this, the racing, because no one did full videos. The racing, um, the racing is going to be very quick clips. They're just going to be happening. You're just going to see it. it's going to be the race. He skipped the person who recorded. There was only one person who recorded all of racing, and he skipped some runs. Like here, the first round, Avenger and Brutus are getting round one by runs, uh, and Great Clips Mohawk Warrior and Bryce Kenny defeated um, Corey Rummel in Rage. Now we have Son of a Digger taking on, that's Ryan Anderson, taking on Scott Buto and the Team Hot Wheels Firestorm. Anderson off to a very nice start. Buto coming around the turn here. The track looks great. I'm very excited. Um, Buto coming around there. He's a little far behind. Anderson going very quick into that final turn. And a nice jump. And it's Ryan Anderson and Son of a Digger taking the win. Round one. Now the second race, we have Grave Digger and Adam Anderson taking on uh, Lindsey Reed in Wonder Woman. Sorry, I forgot the name. Uh, these races are just going to fly by. I'm just going to have to be really quick. Um, they also didn't have all the two-wheel competition anywhere. So I just took four of the top. And it looks like Adam Anderson is going to be taking this easy win over Wonder Woman. Now we've got Gas Monkey Garage taking on Mad Scientist, BJ Johnson, and Lee O'Donnell. Um, but for the two-wheel competition, I just took four of the top five clips because one of them... I'll, I'll go through the list uh, because one of the trucks was, that was in the top... Oh, Lee O'Donnell gets the win as BJ Johnson goes wide. We have Lucas Larkin now taking on Mike Thompson in Wrecking Crew. But back to what I was saying. I keep getting cut off. Um, oh, wow. He's going very wide. I got four out of the top five guys in here, which is kind of all you need to see. Got to see the good stuff. Come on, guy. Get out of the way. I want to see the race. Come on. Move. Doesn't matter. Lindsey Wink wins. Now we have Todd LaDuke in Monster Energy Mutant taking on Tom Mentz in Max D. Let's go. This is going to be an amazing race. I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. Sorry if I'm either really loud or blowing into the mic or something. Uh, it's very close to my mouth, and I'm trying to move it away, but I'm trying not to make a lot of noise. And the winner is Mutant. Now we are on round two. Grave Digger taking on Son of a Digger. That's Adam Anderson and Ryan Anderson. They, he again cut out Mohawk Warrior. Bryce Kenny just not getting any love here. He got His race got cut out. He beat Jim Kohler in Avenger in round two, who also got around one by. And Ryan Anderson flying, but Adam Anderson is doing the same, and he will win the race. Now we have Brutus taking on a uh, mad scientist because Brutus got a round one by. I'm not sure why he got a buy. And, okay, well, Mad Scientist won that race, in case you couldn't tell. Well, you obviously couldn't tell. But Mad Scientist won that race. Now we have Luke Crusader taking on Monster Energy Mutant. Another race cut short. But nonetheless, Mutant wins. I'm sorry, Crusader wins. I don't know what I'm saying. Now we have another short race here, I believe. We have Grave Digger, Adam Anderson taking on Bryce Kenny and the Mohawk Warrior. Adam Anderson in the lead here going into the final turn. He is Flying. Not going too fast, though. But he pulls out the win over Bryce Kenny in the Mohawk Warrior. Now we have Lindsey Wink Lucas Crusader taking on Leo Donnell and the VP Racing Fuels Mad Scientist. Not showing the race. That's great. Um, and Lucas Crusader is in the lead going into the final turn. Let's see who's going to win it. Who's going to be the winner? It is Lindsey Wink and the Lucas Oil Crusader. He's going to the final round. Now, I had to get a new clip for the final round of racing because the other guy just showed a bit of it. I want to show the whole thing. We have Adam Anderson and Grave Digger thinking on Lindsey Wink and Lucas Oil Crusader. Who's going to be the winner of racing here in Minneapolis? I'm excited to find out. Anderson's flying after the second jump. We're heading into the final turn. Wink going fast. Anderson going fast as well. They jump over the final turn. And it is all Adam Anderson. He is the racing winner in Minneapolis. Congratulations, Adam Anderson. He's going to celebrate a little bit here. Nice. Cool. Cool, cool. Nice job there. Great job.
we have a lot of videos <laughs> that I comp that I compiled here. It was a very fun. Uh, it was it was very difficult. I've been trying to do this since last Sunday and I couldn't. So. I, I just I couldn't find any videos I couldn't find any clips and there still aren't full clips of the two competitions so now here we have Jim Kohler and Avenger my oh oh that didn't go very well um, okay um, maybe maybe you'll get something else going here truck sounds very weird truck sounds like he's having a lot of issues I don't know what that is but um, that is definitely not uh, definitely not good. oh wow Wheelie! Come on, ride it! Oh, fantastic! Oh, yeah! That is amazing! That's going to be fifth place for Jim Kohler and Avenger. He gets a 7.904. That was amazing as he slammed into the dumpster there at the end. That was great! A 7.904, that is a nice score for Jim Kohler and Avenger. As you see now, he is backed up and he is going to be pulling away over to the side. And next up... We have Monster Energy Mutant. Oh, he's on two wheels. Oh, 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 he is going over. And wow, that was incredible. He managed to get third place because fourth place was Max D. That was Tom Mentz. But they, the only clip of him was a phone. It was upright, so that would not have been good. Um, well, it was a, I mean, most of these are phones, but it was an upright clip. But Mutant takes third place with an 8.328. Now we have Ryan Anderson coming out in Son of a Digger. He's hoping to take the uh, lead away here from Monster Energy Mutant, who just rolled over. Poor Tom the Duke. I don't know why he managed to get such a high score. He rolled over very quickly. That was very cool, though. I was very, very worried that he was going to get hurt or something. All right, can people... Okay, thank you. Thank goodness they moved that little shot. Uh, he's obviously going for a bite. Oh! Not, he's not feeling it. He's not feeling it. He's not feeling the uh, the bicycle right now, I guess. I don't know. Oh, he's calling... Is he going back around? Yep. He clearly... Uh, he did not get it the first time around, so he is going again gonna get it oh nice 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 keep it going oh those are the cars oh wow get on two wheels get on two wheels oh my goodness that was amazing that truck is very crooked but wow that was incredible that was absolutely astounding oh he's going for the stoppy that does not work he gets a 8.909 that is absolutely incredible wow that was fantastic now we have the winner. This is Leo Donald Matizer. Oh wow! Oh wow! Pull it out! Oh my goodness! I had to get this off of this is credit to Monster Jam on Facebook. I had to get the, the video from there because there's literally this is not anywhere but here. And I hope I don't get uh, I hope I don't get copyrighted for this because I took Monster Jam's video. But I'm not making money off of this, so they really have no reason to take me down because I'm really not doing anything wrong. I'm just trying to trying to react, and I couldn't find it anywhere else. And nice! Oh nice! Oh nice! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh wow! Oh my wow! <laughs> that was amazing! Oh, now we are. Oh man, we're just we're going right into freestyle. And Mike Thompson and Wrecking Crew is just oh, he's starting off the hook. Mad Scientist just won the two-wheel competition with a 9.423. That is very underscored. He deserved like a 99 for that. I mean, that was absolutely incredible. We have all of Freestyle here, though. I, def I checked. All the trucks are here. I have not seen any of these before. It has been very annoying because this entire week I've been on Instagram, on my Instagram page. You can check out my Instagram at Who's Ready for Monster Jam on Instagram. And I've just been going on it. Oh, huge air. Oh, wow. Mike Thompson locks up that back right wheel. But uh, I've been on Instagram all week, and I have just been unable to stay away from spoilers. So I'm just seeing a video that's from Minneapolis, sort of swiping away so that I don't have to watch it, because I, I don't want any spoilers. I, oh, oh, the wheel breaks right off. Wow, that is very cool. Okay, that's an 8.583 for Wrecking Crew. And we have Brad Allen and Brutus starting it off. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna be seeing Mike Thompson, wow, huge air for Brutus, I'm gonna be seeing Mike Thompson in Orlando, I believe driving, um, I believe he's gonna be driving Pirate's Curse, uh, I can check that, but I'm pretty sure it's Pirate's Curse, Alan getting some nice air, this has just been an incredible show, wish I could have gone to it, but it's far out of the way, um, but wow, wow, 
these guys are flying. First two trucks out of the gate have gotten amazing air. Mike Thompson flies, and then the wheel comes right off. Um, he got an 8.583, in case you didn't hear me say that. Whoa! Oh, wow! That just popped that back right wheel. This is insane! I, I'm telling you, I've not seen any of this. This has just been amazing. Wow! These... Okay, this is insane. Uh, if if these guys are going to be doing this every single week on the tours, I just cannot wait for this season. This is going to be the best season ever, I'm telling you right now. Oh, that's too bad. He got shut off very early. He gets a 7.894. Now we have... I could have sworn that that was not Mo Mohawk Warrior, but now we have Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. I kind of just was, wasn't looking for a second when he pulled out onto the track, so I don't really know. But it is. This is... Uh, Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior Monster Jam uh, announced well Feld announced a deal with Great Clips for I believe I don't know how long it was but it was a few years um, so Great Clips is going to be officially sponsoring Monster Jam which is pretty cool oh wow that was a nice move that was pretty cool if I seem like I have more energy in this video than I did in previous ones, it's probably because I do. Um, I had my first ever ACT today. It's just flying, and it was just—it was an amazing day. It's just been—I've been out of energy all day, and this is just—this is just bumping me up, especially because I just had dinner. It's—it's it's fantastic. Oh, he's going over, but he's managing to keep it alive. Bryce Kenny, you are an amazing driver. I'm telling you right now, this kid's got some some secret potential that he's hiding back there. I'm telling you right now, saw him in the World Finals and he made that incredible save. I was in awe because that was an absolutely amazing save and I didn't think I'd see anything uh, like it coming out of this guy who I'd never even heard of before. I mean, it was his second season. Last year he drove in Monster Mutt um, in 2016. He's getting some nice air. He drove Monster Mutt in 2016. Now he's in this Mohawk Warrior truck. He's getting a lot of He's getting a lot of good things, this kid. I mean, he's got a lot going for him right now. Is he going for a backflip? Bryce Kenny going for his first ever backflip, folks. Oh, that was that was that was rough. That was very rough. Now we have Wonder Woman and Lindsey Reed. I just uh, this truck is so beautiful. I, I can't stop looking at it. I believe the lady who's going to be driving it this year, not lady, she's a girl, she's very young. I believe her name's Colette Davis. If I am if I am correct, that is her name. Um, but Lindsay Reed has debuted this truck very well. Uh, I like the stuff I've seen out of her. She's going to be driving Scooby-Doo again this year. She was out because she um, had a child, so um, congratulations to her. She was out for the last year because of that. Uh, there are a few drivers who are supposed to be coming back this year. Oh, wow, she's getting great air. These tracks are built for, okay, uh, these tracks are built for amazing air. I saw it in Foxborough and MetLife, this exact track, and they're just amazing tracks, and we're going to be seeing some incredible freestyles over the course of the next year, and, okay, I guess Wonder Woman just, like, disappeared out of thin air because uh, she she just lost. She got a 6.461. But now we have Scott Buto, Team Hot Wheels Firestorm. Love you, Scott. Shout out to my man, Scott Buto, my man. <laughs> the uh, king of backflips. But, however, I have been seeing a big change in him and his freestyle style. <laughs> freestyle style. Over the last uh, few shows. Nice air. He's been kind of staying away from the backflip, which... Um, Shout out to my dad as well, who believes that that is a good thing. He thinks that Scott should stop focusing on backflips and just going out, because Scott Buto really is an absolutely amazing freestyler and has the potential to win a lot of freestyle championships, and I think focusing too much on backflips could actually take away from that. Um, th there was one spoiler that I got this week that um, I got actually from Scott Buto himself, his Instagram channel, uh, from this run, um, which... I'll tell you after the run, it wasn't big, the the spoiler that I got, it was just like a move that he made, um, but the new Hot Wheels truck came out, the new uh, design, and here it goes for the backflip, uh, the new Hot Wheels design came out for next season for the 50th anniversary, and it's a beauty, and so is that backflip, wow, and, oh, okay, I was about to, I was, I was just about to say, if, if he gets shut off right after that, that is just ridiculous. But he did get shut off, but they let him refire. So that was a spoiler I saw. I saw that he got a backflip. Um, so that was a little... That wasn't too big of a thing. Wow! Soaring through the air. That's incredible. He is going for a big score here. 
Are you going for another one, Scott? No, you're not. I'm telling you, this man's a changed man. This is a changed Scott Buto that you have never seen before. He's got a new truck, new body style. He actually told me about that body style, I believe, in Stafford Springs. He told me, um, he said, we're going to be getting a brand new body style next year, a brand new truck. He also let me in on another secret. Nice air! Wow! He let me in on another secret that I will not tell you. I cannot tell you because I promised him. Well, I didn't promise him, but, I mean, he told me with the trust that I wouldn't go out spreading the word. But I'm just saying it's going to be pretty huge, um, what the what I'm talking about. So, Scott Buto, Team Hobbies Firestone, gets a 9.331. And... That is enough for first place, and Jim Kohler starting right off on the bat. I've seen pictures this week of something that happened in this run. It actually kind of accepts me to see it, but I, I know it's going to happen in the run, and I don't know what the result of it is. I just saw a shot from it, and I don't know. I, I just saw a picture, and I really am excited to see what happens, and he's getting great air. But I think that this he is going to have an amazing time in these stadium tours this year because of that one jump that I'll, show, that I'll point out when he gets to that other side of the track again. Um, that one right there that just entered the shot, the big one, that's the big step up. We'll see if he goes over it at some point. Um, but I think when he hits the back of that right here, he's going to get a massive air and he's going to absolutely just soar across the sky. Um, this truck does not sound right. It sounds like it's like steam powered or something. I don't know. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think he's lining up for it. Oh my, whoa, whoa, that was incredible, that's what I was talking about, that was the picture I saw, I saw a picture of him straight up in the air like that, and I was absolutely going insane, I was, well, I was wondering if he'd go into a backflip or something, but he, he's used to landing on his lid like that, um, with the uh, 2015 World Finals, I believe Lindsey with Lucas are crusader, but I think that jump that Lindsey, I'm sorry, that Jim Kohler just hit is going to get him a lot of air this year, and I think it's going to produce him a, uh, an absolutely incredible freestyling season, because he's just really amazing. Um, he's absolutely a fantastic driver who knows exactly what, he knows exactly what he needs to do. I mean, he's just, he's absolutely fantastic, and I think he knows what he needs to do to get the job done, and he's going to be one of the best freestylers maybe I've ever seen. So, Lindsey Wink going across the floor here, just trying to get some cross threads, get some jumps in. I did not mention uh, Jim Cole's score. I will get that to you in just a second here. But it is, uh, Jim Cole is just absolutely amazing. And, oh, wow, that is amazing air. Insane. Jim Kohler got a... i got to pay attention to both. That's why I didn't look. Uh, he got an 8.231. That's very good. That's a very good score. Lindsey Wink, he is soaring. Wow. He is absolutely flying across this track right now. Just he's just he's doing everything. Um, but he just he needs to keep this up. He needs to keep up the, the big air and he needs to make it work and nice air! My goodness. Jim uh, the, why do I keep saying Jim? Lindsay Wink. I keep switching their names. Lindsey Wink, he's going for some maybe big air off of this, the triple threat jump there, nice. He is just such a consistent driver. Definitely the best driver who has not won a championship yet, that is undebatable. Come on, get some massive air. Oh, wow! Nice! Get, get some bigger air. Come on, end it off on a high. Floor it. Huge! He is soaring! Oh, baby, that is amazing! Oh wow, that was a nice smooth transition reverse. This has just been, this has been such an exciting uh, show. I don't even know what to say. Nice air right there. Just amazing. Incredible. It's been insane. I'm sorry, I'm going a little nuts, but it's very true. Now we have Rage and Corey Rummel. He is, this is another, it was not included in the uh, video that I got originally, so I had to go out and get it. But Corey Rummel and Rage, coming around, hold on, I'm trying to find the, uh, yeah, Lindsey Wink, Luke Zorker, Stater, 7.935. Nice air by Rage right off the start. He is getting some good air, popping a nice... Oh! The wheel comes right off, and he t flips it over. That's rough. It's going to be a 5.414 for Rage. Now we have Lee O'Donnell, the VP Racing Fuels Mad Scientist. This guy just blew my mind earlier in the show with, uh, with his... It's two-wheel competition. Sorry, I just didn't know how to speak there for a second. Absolutely incredible two-wheel competition. Now he's hoping to uh, come out here and get the the event championship. 
Got nice air, keeping it alive. This, I love the sound of monster trucks. Oh boy, that could be an issue. Come on, throw in reverse before you fall backwards. Throw in reverse, throw in reverse. Wow, that is professional driving. You cannot argue that right there. That is just professional driving. That's how you do it. That's just, that's incredible. And riding that wheelie across the top of that jump right there. This has been an insanely amazing show. I, this might be the best show of 2017 by the end of it. I don't know. I've not seen it. But uh, this might end up being the best show of 2017. I don't know. I wouldn't know because I haven't been to all of them. But personally, I believe Foxborough was the best stadium show I've ever witnessed. Oh, nice air. He's just getting, excuse me, sky wheeling after sky wheeling. It's been insane. This has been so, I just, I have no words. Looks like he's lining up for the backflip. He's going for it. He's, oh, no, he's not. He's not. He's going for some huge air, though. And he definitely succeeded in that front because he is, he just soared across the floor. That is the end of the run. It is going to be an 8.285. Absolutely incredible. Now we have Todd Duke in Monster Energy Mutant. I don't know what is up with my energy today, but I'm loving it. I am fired up. Because this show is getting me fired up. This has been an absolutely amazing show, and I just, I love it. Great air. He's keeping it going. For those of you who have, who have stuck through this video at this point, thank you. I looked at the analytics on my videos, on my reaction videos, commentary videos, um, and nice wheelie. And they are getting like 14, 15 minutes of views. And there are some people who watch the whole thing. So for those of you who watch the whole thing, thank you. I appreciate it. You are truly loyal. Who's ready for Monster Jam subscribers as Todd LaDuke is soaring through the air right now. He is just going for it. He is just... He's an amazing driver. I... I love how I went out of Monster Jam for two years in 2014 and 2015, sadly, and I missed his only two championships. <laughs> I missed his I missed his freestyle championship in 2014, and I missed his racing championship in 2015. I almost saw him win it in 2016, but Morgan Cain stole that away from him, which was even cooler. Mind up. Maybe some huge air. Oh, wow. Perfect landing. That was beautiful. That was absolutely gorgeous. I cannot... I don't know if I've seen anything pretty in my life. That was absolutely perfect. Just absolutely incredible run right now from Todd the Duke in the Monster Energy Mutant Truck. He's maybe going for some bicycles here. I don't know what he's doing. But I'm just looking for something amazing. Going for the backflip. Mutant backflip following his name. Nice. A little... Not even overshot. That was just absolutely perfect. Just keeping it going. Keep it... Keep it flying. Soar through the air like that. Nice. 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 Nice! Whoa! Wow! That was really cool. That was just amazing. And go for some huge air! Oh, baby! This is insane! Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. I've said that a lot today. He is just... He is... I have had so many reasons to say, oh, my goodness. And that's going to be the end of the run. Let's see how much he goes for. That's going to take the lead at 9.661. What an... Oh, that was... That was amazing. That was just fantastic. And Adam Anderson right off the bat getting some big air. Wow. What is... What... Did these guys get, like... Monster Energies before the show or something. I mean, I know that they've, they've been given free mutants, but I didn't know that all the drivers got them, too. I mean, they are just fired up. Adam Anderson hoping to snatch that lead from Todd LaDuke, who grabbed a 9.661 in a fantastic run with just unbelievable stuff. Just absolutely fantastic this has just been such an incredible show, and I don't know, I don't know if I've seen anything like it before. It's been just so amazing to be able to see this, and if I'm going to be doing many more, oh my air, jeez, this is just, that jump they need to put in the regular stadiums, because they're just flying, they're just, they're absolutely, they're going to be showing up on the radar at the local airport, because these guys are going insane, oh wow, this is just in. This is this is madness. This is madness. I don't think I've seen. Oh my goodness! What a what a freestyle! 
Oh my! Oh, ju I'm just speechless. I, oh, I just, I can't help but laugh. This is just absolutely, ridiculously amazing. This so far has been by far the best show I have ever seen, and I didn't even get to see it in person, which is very upsetting because this is fantastic. Oh my! Just, this is unbelievable. Huge. I mean. I don't even need to say it. You already know what I'm going to say. And the wheelie, the wheelie that he's riding across the floor. This is electrifying. You love to see it. Oh. Oh my goodness. I can't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Oh, he goes over two wheels. Can he pull it out? No, he cannot. Oh my lord. And the, the, the truck just exploded. Oh, it's an 8.861. Now we have Tom Menson, Max D. We have not seen him yet today, except for, I believe, in one, free, in one racing clip. Um, I'm not sure the... Oh, excuse me. I'm not sure. Yeah, he was in round one and he lost to uh, Tyler Duke, but he was not in the two good competition. So here's Tom Menz, folks. Him and one more truck. Him and Ryan Anderson are all that remain to try and take Todd the Duke out of the loop at the 9.661. Adam Anderson didn't fill the time, so he got an 8.861. Mens just soaring across the floor, as he always does. He loves to do that. He loves to just... He loves to do it. Start off with a backflip like Jimmy Creighton did this year. Or last year. I don't even know. I don't even know what it was, but it was amazing. I just clicked on the on the home screen, and I, I not the home screen. I just clicked on the screen, and I actually thought it was gonna get rid of my recording. So, good thing it didn't. But because uh, I was I was getting really electric there in that run. Oh man, men, can you just beat what these last two guys just did? Because if you can, then I'm probably gonna be sitting on this floor just like screaming. I'm not gonna have a voice. Oh my gosh! I'm not even gonna have a voice by the end of this recording. I don't even know if you don't if you don't hear me for the next like 15 minutes. It's because my voice box gives out and he gets right into Brutus. I can't even. I don't even know what to say. He hits Brutus and he just ah keeps on going. Classic Mets hitting the cars. He's flying. I don't even know what to say. Can he? Is he going for the backflip or something? He might be broken. No, he's not. He's still going. Go for some huge hair. Come on. Floor it. Floor it. Oh, wow. Oh, that is just... Uh, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. He is just absolutely giving it his all. So are all of these guys. They're just going out there and giving it the best they can in this Minneapolis show before the 2018 season starts. And I don't think I've seen anything like it. Go for some big air. Nice. That was pretty cool. They're just, they're just flying. I don't even know. I don't even know. They're just at... I'm like getting all red in the face. I'm, I'm burning up, I can tell, because I'm just yelling so much. Parents upstairs probably think I'm insane. That someone's like down here murdering me, but no, this is an absolutely incredible show. And they'll see it later anyway. Absolutely fantastic. Going over? Nope. Just insane. Unbelievable. Unbelievable freestyle that I am watching right now. I didn't even think I'd be able to see something this awesome in my life. This is just absolutely amazing. Go oh, lining up for the side of this jump right here. What was that? Oh, if you could pull this out. Oh, my lord. Oh, no, he does not do it. Oh, that would have been amazing. That would have been the coolest thing of the year. Oh, wow. 8.794. That's not enough for the lead. It's still Mutant in the lead. And there's one truck left. That's Ryan Anderson. Son of a digger. I believe it was last episode in which he blew up at the end of it <laughs> that and won. That was a little that was a little bogus. Coming off right off the bat, getting some nice air. He is just trying to snatch that lead and continue this incredible freestyle that we have been seeing. Getting some nice air. He's not getting up in the air though, he's kinda just floating above the ground. Just make some moves. Just do something incredible. I want to scream some more before the end of this video because this has been insane. He's going for that amazing jump. Oh, my God. He lands on top of Max D. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Is he all right? Good thing Tom isn't in there. But, I mean, I didn't even see a cut between the things. So, maybe he is and maybe Tom just died. And Anderson's over. And that's going to be it. Oh my lord! <laughs> Absolutely fantastic! Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.